Hello, and welcome to day two of TWE's 12 Days of Festivities. Today, I'm going to be showing you how my family and I decorate for the holidays. Usually, we don't decorate until the 3rd of December, as that is my mum's birthday. But of course, with lockdown and all of the negativity that's been going on this year, we felt like we needed the Christmas spirit. With decorating comes some traditions, such as sentimental bubbles. We have homemade ones from ones that we made as children that aren't the best, and some that we've made this year during our time in lockdown. We also have ones that we've collected over the years from various occasions, like Christmas fairs and the Light Up a Life event that a local hospice near mine does. Um, so when my mum passed away we went to this event and donated to the hospice because they're such a free charity and with that we got a free bauble which goes up on our tree every year to remember my mum by. We also have a little pottery type bird that goes up on the tree as well to remember my nan by as she loved sitting in the garden and watching the birds. We have two trees in my family, the front room one which is quite grown up where those sentimental baubles that I mentioned go and then in our back living room we have the more childish novelty one where these Disney baubles that we've had forever like since before I was born go and we've added to those over the years as well with an Elsa figurine to mark the birth of my little sister and a Baymax one that I bought for my grandparents for Christmas a couple of years ago. Another tradition that we used to have whilst decorating is that we'd wrap ourselves up in the tinsel before hanging it on the tree and call ourselves Tinsel Fairy. Um, we actually don't have tinsel on any of our trees anymore, so no more Tinsel Fairies, but there's these pictures to look back on every year and remember. After we put up the tinsel on the tree, my brothers and sister and I would all help help put up the baubles on the tree and then my mum would come along afterwards like as we were going to bed and she'd rearrange where the baubles were hung so that the tree looked the perfect way that she wanted it to. Unfortunately some of these traditions can't happen anymore now that I've moved out but the point still stands, decorating and traditions are so important in my family as it gets us all in the Christmas spirit. I mean, have you watched American Christmas movies? They go all out. But what is with the popcorns and cranberries on a string? This American classic actually started here in Europe for the wholesome reason of providing food to the birds throughout the cold winter months that we definitely face here in the UK. Although my family isn't massively religious, we do celebrate Christmas, which is of course a Christian holiday, hence the Christ in the name. So we used to have this snow globe that had the baby Jesus, um, Mary and Joseph, and all of the barn animals in from the scene from the story. However, we did donate that um, as it doesn't go with our decorations anymore. But we still do have these three Winnie the Pooh wise men teddies. And we have the Winnie the Pooh angel that sits on top of our tree. Both of which are, of course, referencing back to the story of baby Jesus and the birth of Christmas. Another popular festivity that is celebrated around this time of year is the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. One of the key decorations is the menorah, which is a candelabra um, used in the eight days of Hanukkah, and each day a candle is lit. 
The symbolic meaning behind this is that the oil from the first candle is enough to last all eight days. Thank you for coming along and decorating with me. I do apologise that this video is so bitty, I don't know what's wrong with me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe as we have the 12 days of festivities going on throughout this festive time of the year. Thank you. Bye.